You know, you're not the only one that feels lost sometimes. It happens to everybody. Welcome back to Project Eli, where we educate, lead, and inspire. I'm your less than humble host, Eli's dad. Tag along for today's lesson. To rise above your circumstances, just follow the yellow brick road, one step at a time. You know, Eli, doesn't it seem like sometimes you're so lost that it feels like a tornado just sucked you up and dropped you in the middle of nowhere. At one time or another in our lives, we all can feel lost. It may be after a graduation or a breakup or seeking a job or, you know, I knew a girl once that got incredibly lost. The only thing on her mind was to return home. These were her first thoughts. Okay, what do I do? Well, Got to start someplace. Let's look around and see if someone can help us and give us direction. We need a resource and we need to be resourceful. Is there anyone around that has knowledge of how to begin the journey home so I can get there? Now she asked some of the townspeople for some direction, but they didn't recognize where the little girl lived. They suggested that she go to an information source like a library or a search engine and find an expert, a wizard, in that particular field. So the first move is to visualize the finish line and then find a starting line. Give yourself some quiet thinking time. You may need a few sessions, but don't take too many. And choose a finish line. That is a worthy objective. It doesn't have to be your ultimate lifetime objective, but it must be worthy of your thoughts, efforts, and be forward going. When your finish line has all of these components, it's vision worthy. Create and recreate the vision at least twice a day when you first wake up and just before sleep as a minimum. And you know what? If you want to do it a third time, like at noon, that's pretty good too. Now, sounds like some good advice being from out of town. Where do I find this expert? How do I get there? Just follow the designated road one step at a time. You won't know all the details to begin, but you must begin, and you must have a starting line. You envision the farm in Kansas, the end result, every day. It's your dream, your passion, your single purpose, and you won't be distracted from its achievement. Kansas. Step two is to find the starting line. Don't plan the whole race. Just get started. This is critical. This race will have some obstacles that you must hurdle. But if you don't get out of the starting block, you'll never begin to have momentum, a necessary component to overcome a hurdle. Eli, put yourself in her ruby red slippers, so to speak. Now you're somewhat fearful because you've never traveled this particular road before, but your desire to get home is stronger than your apprehension about unknown obstacles that may befall you. With each step that you take, you are inspired by the progress that you're making. You know there'll be challenges, but the road to success, it always has those. Too bad it ain't a highway. Too bad there isn't public transportation. Your mantra for progress is to walk the path one step at a time each day and keep the vision of your desired outcome embedded in your mind. For this purpose, you gotta see it, you gotta feel it, and you gotta believe it. Clearly, this journey isn't going to be a peaceful walk through the woods. There'll be some times when it seems that someone with evil intentions is placing annoying, annoying obstacles in your path. You cannot be deterred though. Change your paradigm to seek solutions. If you're hungry and you can't reach the branch of the tree that bears the fruit easily, creatively find a way to allow the fruit to come to you. Put yourself in the shoes of those that deny you. Figure out how to motivate others to act in a way that will assist you. Inspire others to think as you do, apples to apples. For this purpose, you'll need your brains. Now, as you continue down the road, understand that others whom you have enlisted to help you 
may have minor breakdowns of either a mental or physical nature. It's your job as the leader to continuously revitalize their dreams. It's essential that their desired final outcome be congruent with yours. You must harmoniously swing your axes together to expeditiously chop down that giant tree. Put oil on all the moving parts continuously by sharing the vision and selling the dream. You must get into their hearts before their heads will follow. For this purpose, you will need genuine sincerity, heart, and faith. Now, there will be some obstacles that are monumental. You'll know they're coming too. There'll be signs that attempt to ward you off. There'll be people, including those that love you, that will say, quote, I wouldn't do that if I were you, unquote. They will advise you to turn back, to take the safe way. There's always a crossroad before you reach a worthy destination. Sometimes that crossroad means venturing in dangerous, unexplored territory. Roy T. Bennett from The Light in the Heart says, be brave and take risks. You need to have faith in yourself. Be brave and take risks. You don't have to have it all figured out to move forward. Now, sometimes that crossroad is just a crossroad. Your continuous attempts for a solution repeatedly reject you time after time after time. You keep attempting a different number on the combination lock, but the vault won't open for you. Marian Radmecker says, courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes courage is the little voice at the end of the day that says, I'll try again tomorrow. Now, most of the time, courage is a combination of venturing forward on an unknown path and repeatedly trying unique approaches until you find the solution. One key is to have a burning desire which will overcome your fear of obstacles. Another key is to set a timeline to reach your destination before all of the sand from the hourglass has run out. Now, I can't logically explain this, but you'll find that when you possess that burning desire, the universe will appear when the time is right. That's Napoleon Hill's sixth sense. It will partner with you in unexpected ways that you could neither have predicted nor planned, like a snowstorm in winter. Additionally, through your subconscious mind, the universe will reveal to you solutions that, in retrospect, you had within you <clears throat> all the time. You'll find that you just needed clarity in what you sought and singleness of purpose in your actions to accomplish your objective. Now, the production, known as success, is a combination of know what, know why, know who, and know how. The players in this production virtually always include a mentor, an expert either in the flesh and or through research. They include trial and error, they include tenacity and resolve, that's a burning desire for a particular outcome, patience, impatience, and a director's vision of the final cut. It is this director's vision that bellows to us from within, action! The director must have brains for both conscious logical thinking and for subconscious creative thinking. Heart for the vision, sharing the vision and selling the dream, and courage to venture into the unknown with both grit and persistence. Well, I gotta head back now. I haven't had my lunch yet. And I've got my little pet to feed, you know, my little dog too. Remember, there's no place like home. May I give you a friendly reminder? If you're serious, be sure to review the description box below where you will discover E equals MC squared part three. Our next session is entitled, Excuse Me, I've Gotta Go Pee. And to be sure that you don't miss that, hit the subscribe button and the bell, 
Be a good friend. Tell your friends. And our thought for today, learning is not a spectator sport. And because we never end a meeting on a philosophical note, let's get out there and take action and charge. I'm Eli's dad.